Monster Hunter Online. It's an action MMO released about 8 years ago. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at Monster Hunter Online. We're gonna check out some gameplay, talk about the monetization, the features, and watch the trailer. Monster Hunter Online is an action MMORPG. And with that said, let's do this. Welcome back, Saviors GH here. First off, what is Monster Hunter Online? It's an action MMO based on the popular Monster Hunter series of action role-playing games. It was developed by Tencent Games and Capcom. In the game, players could team up with other players online to hunt and capture monsters, craft weapons and armors, and explore the vast game world. The main difference with the console Monster Hunter is, in Monster Hunter Online, you got a shared world. And going to the last remaining information site describing Monster Hunter Online, it says here that Monster Hunter Online is a next-generation hunting action online game jointly produced by Tencent Games and Capcom. The core gameplay of Monster Hunter revolves around hunting and battling monsters, of course. Like every other Monster Hunter game, you hunt down a monster, get the parts, and craft equipments. And talking about equipments, players could choose from a variety of weapons and equipments to suit their playstyle. And according to their official website, you can use a sword and shield, a great sword, long sword, hammer, bow gun, a bow, and more. And players can also form parties with other players to take on the game's challenging monsters and successful hunts rewarded players with resources such as monster parts, which could be used to craft new weapons and armors. Now, Monster Hunter Online begins with the character creation that allows players to customize the appearance of their characters. The system offered a variety of options for players to choose from, including facial features, hairstyles, and sliders for the face shape. Additionally, players could select from beginner clothes and give their character a unique name. Once players finalize their character creation, a cutscene will play and will introduce you to your Palico. It's a companion character that helps you out in the game. And then you will be in the world where you will talk to this NPC and it will lead you to a short combat tutorial and then a proper beginner monster hunt. The game's movement mechanics involves a third-person perspective and the use of the WASD keys. And you can move the camera with the mouse and also attack with it. And as a player progresses to the game, they can follow the quest line, keep hunting monsters, crafting gear until you reach the end game. Now, Monster Hunter Online or MHO had a free-to-play model with optional in-game purchases. The game's monetization strategy relied heavily on its cash shop, which offered a variety of items that could be purchased with the game's premium currency or real money. The cash shop items includes cosmetic items and consumables. MHO also had a VIP system that provided additional benefits to players who spent real money in the game. VIP members received bonuses such as increased experience gain and reduced crafting items. And it's important to note that players could also exchange their in-game currency for the game's premium currency through the exchange center, allowing them to acquire cash up items without spending real money. Now, Monster Hunter Online had a long development process with multiple closed and open beta phases leading up to its formal launch. The game's initial beta began on June 28, 2013, followed by several beta phases, and MHO's formal launch occurred in December 21, 2016 after several years of development and testing now here's the important part the game was only available in china and was not released globally despite its popularity mho was eventually shut down on december 31 2019 after several years of operation and here is tencent's the listing announcement of monster hunter online and this states due to the expiration of the cooperation with the japanese side we cannot continue to provide players with the game's content of Monster Hunter Online. Therefore, Monster Hunter Online is about to end its operation. And the server will be officially closed on December 31, 2019. So there it goes. Officially, it's dead. There's no private servers, at least one that's accessible by the public. Let's just hope we get another Monster Hunter MMORPG that's developed and published by Capcom themselves. Because if that's the case, there will be no licensing issues and the game can last longer. And there you have it, Monster Hunter Online. Thanks for watching.